tonight's amazing race recap oh last time kelly and christy were eliminated Thank for being God. bitches because i was feeling stupider and stupider <laughs> watching them <laughs> i lost brain cells for real all right so last time they were in delhi india and now they're going to um, almaty kazakhstan. kazakhstan i didn't see Bora, did you no because he's a fictional character i didn't think he was really <laughs> from there so they're going to a chicken factory when they get there too yeah so, Dallas and Star, love's in the air. Yeah, it's it's happening. Mm -hmm. So watch out, kids. It's called puberty. Um, when you're in your 20s. Right. So after a little drama at the airport, you know, there's a little ticket mix-up happening, Nick and Star, Dallas and Tony, and Ken and Tina were all on the first flight. Then Terrence and Sarah were on the second, and Team Superbad, Dan Drew, Dan and Andrew, yeah. were on the third. So, guess what? Chickens wake up at 7.30 in the morning. Or at least that's when they open the chicken factory. So, so everyone caught up, including Dan and Andrew. They made it by the skin of their teeth. They just made it. Yeah. So it's a roadblock, and only one, one person does that. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Roadblock for one, please. <laughs> so it was a close encounter of the chicken kind. They had to search through 30,000 chickens to find one of seven golden eggs. Yeah. They look like they're made out of plastic, though. I don't know. So, <laughs> but they also have a chance for the second of two fast forwards. So this is it if you want to go for the fast forward. Right. And it was a doozy. Ooh, you had to eat a plate. Well, both of the, uh, the team members had to eat an entire gray... Big plate. ...green plate of sheep-ass fat. Ew! It's a local delicacy. I don't care. <laughs> I don't want to eat that. <laughs> I could eat, like, a little piece, but a no. whole plate? So there was a race for this fast-forward. It was between Nick and Star, and we just said, and Terrence and Sarah. Did we just say that? No. Okay. Terrence... Is a vegan. A vegan. A vegan. He's a vegan. He gave up his V card. No. No. <laughs> he's a vegetarian. Yeah. So he's like, all oh, I don't eat meat, man. I haven't eaten meat in like fifteen years. Yeah. So they waited until like uh, Nick and Star were almost finished, and then they finally gave up. If you knew you were so far <sighs> behind and it was never gonna happen, why didn't you leave sooner? That was probably the stupidest move this season. But anyway, everyone else put on their hazmat suits and ventured into the chicken factory. Yeah, they all found it uh, pretty quickly. Yeah. So after the chicken factory, they have to go find the giant crane trucks and drive uh, to Cocktoby Arch. Cocktoby Arch. <laughs> Why in a giant crane truck? I do not know. Because that's what was available. Well, they didn't use the crane at all, no. so I didn't see the point of that. I think it was just for fun. All right, so once they get there, they have to follow the path to the Mongol warrior. And wait for the next clue to arrive. And guess what? The clue came via... <laughs> A falcon. Oh, Donald! <laughs> Where have you been, Donald? The falconer. Yeah, yeah, it was freaking awesome. I love that bird! Did so, you see that wingspan? That was awesome. Majestic. The detour. It's a detour. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to choose between play like mad... Or act like fools. So in play, they have to go to a museum, learn to play a simple tune using two traditional uh, Kazakhstan instruments, then perform in front of a crowd and earn enough tips to make one and a half dollars. Yeah. It don't matter because nobody picked it. I would have. I totally would have too. I know. In Act Like Fools, they had to go to this children's puppet theater, dress in a two-person cow costume, one in the front, one in, one in the rear, and, yeah. <laughs> and walk to this marked milk stall thing. Drink and, some chunky milk. And then go to this butcher shop place. Deliver yourself to the butcher stall. Ew. Well, let's just get caught up here. First of all, Nick and Star got the fast forward. Terrence and Sarah gave up and had to go all the way back to yeah. the roadblock. And Team Superbad got lost and nobody gave a crap because Ooh. nobody wanted to help them. Well, Not a lot they didn't of English speak English, English anyway. There. I don't think they liked them anyway. Uh, Ken and Tina missed the clue on the milk glass, too. Yeah, they did. That was not cool. And, to top it all off, they went and brought back their cow costume before they went to the butcher. You're not supposed to bring it back at all. Ugh. They will return it for you. Wait, wait, one more thing. <laughs> 
Team Superbad left their sneakers at the costume shop. Well, the theater. Right. Well, the costume shop of the theater. Is and they. Shop? It's a shop. Oh, it's a lot. They had to walk in these, like, crap kicker boots all the way you to the next You were supposed to walk from the butcher thing to the pit stop, and they took a cab. And Not cool. No, no. So when they showed up at the pit stop, Phil was like, uh, you gotta go back. But wait. Yeah. In first place, obviously, Nick and Star, because they got the fast forward. And but they... wait! <laughs> the pit stop was at Old Square. <laughs> you scratched me. I'm sorry. I got so excited. So Nick and Star won. A 180 power wave runner. Yeah, one each. Horsepower. <laughs> Second I think place. we're screwing Second up as place. much as the people on Amazing Tony Race. Tony and Dallas. Third place, Ken and Tina. Fourth place, like we said, Andrew and Dan, but they had to go back. And they still ended up in fourth place, mm -hmm. and poor Terry and Sarah ended up coming in last. That still Oops. kills you, doesn't it, that I call him Terry? Yo, Terry! So they were the last to arrive, and no, it was not a non-elimination leg. But Phil tried to fool them. I know. With the long pause. What's with her tiny glasses? I don't know, but next Ow, time. Phil! Next time. <laughs> right. Dan's not very good at marching. I didn't think he would be. He's a 4F. So, Nick and Star break their winning streak. Or do, do they? they? We'll have to wait to find out. Till then, much, much love. love.